Hello there ladies and gentlemen, there was a very interesting study conducted about the Denuvo Anti-Temper DRM and its effects on the selling of a particular game. Let's say if a game has a Denuvo Anti-Temper DRM, within the first two weeks, the DRM protects total revenue from piracy by a mean of 15%. So generally it is advised not to use Denuvo DRM because it hampers the performance of the game. Secondly, the server issues are there. Thirdly, the game becomes obsolete after 10 to 15 years. If the game has to be preserved if the DRM servers goes completely off will the game survive in the long run the there are three questions guys which need to be addressed by the developers and the Denuvo company as well what if they actually close the company or just shut down the DRM after five years would you be able to play the game or not because it requires online authentication Denuvo token and other things Secondly, there is a very huge thing. The characteristics of a game cannot explain its likelihood to be cracked. Whether it would be Assassin's Creed Mirage, which is an old game now, but uh, it is still uncracked while some of the Denuvo games are cracked like FIFA 23. Why is it so? Nobody knows because particular cracker needs to work on particular game and crack that Denuvo game. And it's not an easy thing to crack Denuvo DRM. However, it is very much likely that the game will be having very much good sales if they remove the DRM after three months. Yes, the study shows this only and I'm gonna be leaving the link in the description box. You can check it out by yourself. So what do you guys think? Should the Denuvo be removed from games after three months? We have seen Resident Evil Village and older Resident Evil games which were having Denuvo Enter Temper. The Denuvo DRM was removed eventually. To be very honest, I think uh, this is the matter that should the Denuvo DRM be stuck with the game or should it be just removed? Let me know your opinions. I'll see you in my next one.